Good morning, everybody. I am just here. Um, wanted to share a little bit, and you know, started off this morning singing all of my favorite tunes in the shower. I was uh, actually I'm almost hoarse from shouting out so much, and it's it's funny how things can shift so much. Um, it's really important to be able to control your environment and. I sound kind of my energy levels dropped a little bit because I just just really wonder how how often uh, or how many people travel this road of getting to that same point in the road you know you've been there before and you decide to say the last time you went down the road you you traveled at 40 miles an hour to get to your destination and you got there late say five minutes so you know you could have taken the bypass road and you know that that would have uh, possibly eliminated a couple of uh, stop signs and traffic lights and you know that if you went that way you wouldn't encounter this particular crosswalk where you know you get you always get stopped but, you know, instead you decide to go down that same road, 40 miles an hour, you encounter that crosswalk, and this time double people come out than before. So now instead of the five minutes late, you find yourself ten minutes late. Or let's, let's just step this up another notch. You, you know that by doing a certain combination of things that... Uh, you won't encounter a certain result. Just, you know, for example, in 1996, I was diagnosed with uh, fibromyalgia and rheumatoid arthritis, and it was actually, the onset was so intense, they, they thought that I may have had lupus. You know, I was blessed that that was not the case. But honestly, I have not been on any prescription medication for some time now. Uh, they never could find anything that actually didn't have so many other side effects that uh, it would actually make me worse than what it was but I found out a certain combination of things I found out that you know, by supplementing uh, my immune system because it is an autoimmune dis those are autoimmune disorders so I found out by doing certain natural remedies uh, and the better quality of the natural remedies, I got better results. Uh, less, in other words, I, you could say a type of remission type situation. However, I know that I have to pretty much maintain the same sleep schedule. I mean, I, I don't have to do the 10 to 11 hours prescribed that the doctors talk about. But I know that if I, um, if I, you know, if I pretty much go to bed at the same time and get close to 7 to 8 hours of sleep, and I and I do my supplemental regimen I will not even know within a certain short period of time you won't even know and most people don't know people who are around me because I know there's some of you are viewing who don't know but uh, you know the people who have been around me the last uh, decade or so here in the in the metro Atlanta area unless I tell them they don't know and most of the time they don't believe me if you live with me and see me get off cycle, you will know. Uh, if there are times you think I'm a little ditzy like a blonde, a ditzy blonde, and that's no pun or down. I'm not trying to put down any of my friends who are blondes, but you you know the, the blonde jokes. That's one of the symptoms of the disease as well as uh, other. Uh, there's a there's a plethora. plethora. <laughs> you know what I mean. There's a there's a list as big as a an eight by twelve book that's two inches thick talking about the symptoms. But you know I just know that if I continue down a certain road, uh, I know what result I'm going to get. I know that. I know if I eat certain things, I will get a certain result. I know if I'm around cigarette smokers, I'm allergic to cigarette smoke. I will start to manifest something similar to a sinus migraine. There's just certain things that you just know. And the only thing I really want to say today and the purpose of this little clip is just for you to step back, take an inventory of your life. Uh, they say that a person who continues to do the same thing expecting a different result, they call that insanity. And, you know, there's some things that we do, self-included, they're insane. 
I've just been making it a point uh, these last few years of my life, and especially uh, since the first of this year, to, to be more on point with making note of those things, even making lists and checking off my list of things not to do as well as things to do. So that's all I'm going to say for now. Just remember, when we say make the day great, that means that you have a choice. You have a choice in everything that you say and that you do. And remember, the life you live, that's the life you built. This is Beth signing out. I hope I've said something that's been helpful to everyone. And again, make the day great.